Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. I got to ask you about the elephant in the room. There you go. There's a big, gigantic, uh, yellow elephant mm-hmm. in the room. And it's called the gatekeeper list. And I keep, I'm on this thread where people keep, they talk about this gatekeeper list in Man. a way. And I know that we're blessed today to get it revealed on Boss Talk 101, what a bosses talk. And uh, I'm just happy to uh, be affiliated with the guy who's, who's who pretty much has his fingers all in. He is, hey, man, that guy, Big D the Mogul, man. Hey, for sure, man. Hey, I, I never knew this list was going to become as iconic as it's become. Uh, man, it's been crazy. Um, definitely the gatekeeper word. Of course, I created, but me and uh, Terry Blue, shout out to Terry uh, Dallas Global. Always, always saw it on everyone from Say Cheese drop a artist list or drop a top producers list or something like that, highlighting those who up front. But I was like, damn, it'd be dope to drop a list to highlight those who people don't know. And the, and the whole goal for it was to give artists a chance to see people who they make and tap into. Um, people always been wondering what's the definition of a gatekeeper. According to this list, a gatekeeper is a person who had a power, the platform, connection, slash influence to help an artist get to the next level. It's not to mean that these people can make or break an artist. The only people that can break an artist is the people. Mm. People got to like your music. People got to gravitate to it. But if you able to tap in with these people. These people may have either the access to funds or access to people, whether it's platform or influence connection, mm-hmm. connection to help you get to the next level. So that's the for people who ask for the definition of gatekeeper list. That's what it is, man. And yeah, man, I got the 2022 gatekeeper list. And how often do you come out with this? Once, Once a, a year. Once a year. Once a year. Every in time March. around in March. Every okay. year. Every year. And and I love it because people are so. Just shook up by it. I, I, I'm, I love it. And not only your list, but all these lists to be coming out. Yeah. It's always yours because you hold. You don't do but this one, and it's impactful, man. Man, I, I appreciate it. Even though it'd be a lot of people threatening to drop their own gatekeeper right, list. I was wondering, it how don't many matter. You're the, you the other king gate, of it. How many other gatekeeper gatekeeper lists? Uh-uh. Are there? That's the king. It's only one. Only one. Yeah, you know I mean that's Dallas the Global. king of it. So let 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 let's, let's get to it. All right, so we we gonna start from the. It's 17 people on this list. Okay. Why Just, 17 and not 20? Uh, why 16? <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is when, you know, go ahead, I mean, man. Last year was I'm like sorry, 13. man. We sorry, man. No, Let's cool. get this thing going. All right, so here we go. We got uh, Dark Skin the Plug. Put Dark Skin on here at number 17. He the World Star Connect. Everybody know pretty much anybody who get on World Star go through Dark Skin. Okay. Number 16, new to the, well, Dark Skin is new to the list as well. New to the list, my guy B. Hobbs. People don't know B. Hobbs. B. Hobbs is in charge of like the mm. talent and the platforms at South by Southwest. Dope. So this is somebody in your back corner. You talking about becoming an official artist at South by Southwest. This is a guy you want to tap in and network with, get in your corner. Uh, you got my guy Big Homie P out of San Antonio. Uh, you made for it. Show promoter, big guy that does this thing to connect. Uh, Shamar Alice. You know what I'm saying? He's another guy here, big on. He, he I think, little. Uh, damn, he just got somebody a deal. And then it comes to my mind, the artist's name. Then it comes to my mind. But also another big show promoter, bring a lot of acts okay. in. Okay. Um, number 13, Lil Zach. Y'all just had him on here. Lil Zach, definitely a gatekeeper, hands heavy into, like like you said, Erica Banks busted. Had a lot to do with that record. He had the Mo 3 Platinum record. You know what I'm saying? Like. Uh-huh. Um, Lil Zach, black youngster, he he got his hands in the game. Um, number twelve, I got Kevin from Vertico. You know, Vertico is one of the biggest DJ platforms out here that bring a bunch of DJs together and let artists come there and promote and connect with all the DJs. Core DJ, I, I think I saw Tony Neal there and everything. So, um, number eleven, I know this is a cuss word in y'all store, but I got <laughs> Charleston White on here. Uh, definitely in the last year, whether you hate him or you love him. Charleston White has built a name for himself. We all benefited from his his you know what I'm saying his aura. He's built plat help build platforms. He's built his own platforms. I see him take other people along with him and make connections. So Charleston on there. Number 10, half pint. You know what I'm saying? Half pint always still hands in the game. Still Erica Banks that came through them. You know what I mean? I know 1501 got her, but that that's a hub that allows artists to 
a launch pad, I would like to say. Um, number nine, DJ Bubba, Dirty Glove Bastard. D, you know, Dirt, Bubba, man, everybody, anybody that's anybody that's an artist that come in the city, go straight to Bubba. Can't take nothing away from him. And more than like, more than anything, South by Southwest show was rocking. He had one of the biggest showcases out there. Everybody who was somebody was in that showcase. If they weren't performing, it was just showing up to be there. Um, J Money is on there. I'm going to speed up a little bit. No, 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 no. Keep going on the tempo. You're going. I uh, like this. So, and J Money, I, I'm going to let Terry kind of, he explain that a little bit. He pushed, I'm not going to say push. J Money definitely decided to be on this list. Definitely a gatekeeper in the game. Um, his influence is heavy. Um, he's behind a lot of artists getting signed. So, he for sure had to be on the list. Of course, Trap Boy Freddie. You know, Dane near the king of Oak Cliff. He he stepped outside, signed a young lady from Memphis doing this thing. Um, number six, my guy, Smooth Vega. Smooth Vega is probably, that's my superpower. If you ask yeah. me how majority of my interviews fell in my lap, you know what I'm saying? Smooth Vega, hey, you want this interview from wrestling to whatever. Wow. It's, man, you talking about a guy who works behind the scene, getting shows, booking, in charge of booking some of the most, the major acts that come here. He even called me sometimes like, hey, Def Jam trying to put this artist here. What you think? Should we book the show with this artist? Or Def Jam, we got this mixer here. They want to uh, interview artists. You want to go here? I'm like, yeah. So Vega definitely. is definitely a jewel in his backyard that we want to give our uh, support Flowers to. Too. Flowers to, for sure. Five Bebe. You know, not Bebe been a goat. He connected with everybody in the industry. Anybody that's anybody, you know, Bebe, he there. And then I love what he's doing with the hub. Wow. And then, you know what I'm saying, what him and Radio Raheem got going on over there. I think that's a dope look where it brings a lot of people here. I mean, I've seen Ice or Vezel over there. I've seen, um, uh, what's my, um, it's a lot of people come through there. Don't, don't get me tripping. Number four, just said his name, Radio Raheem. Shout out. Radio Raheem definitely is a gatekeeper. Probably should have been on here a long time ago. Um, hands in everything. Definitely a boss. His infrastructure is crazy. The hub, what he does over there. Working with artists like um, Jay Oliver, producer, who got a lot of placements with Rick Ross, Rihanna, etc. Man, Radio Raheem really put batteries in people back and make things happen. Of course, my guy, Rainwater. <laughs> <laughs> Why you saying like Rainwater, that? Rainwater, my guy, man. You know, people, I know a lot of people, again, look at Rainwater as one of those nefarious characters, man. But Rainwater, if you know... You may have to kind of pay attention to why he's doing what he's doing, but if he's going to do whatever he committed himself to, he do it hard, and he do it eff efficiently, and he's going to make sure it get done. Now, you may have to make sure your ends is covered, but Rainwater going to make sure the job get done. He going to make sure he get paid. So, um, But Rainwater, let's look at some of the things he did. You know what I'm saying? He got three artists on. You know what I'm saying? Of course, him. I mean, his connection. Bobby Billions did his thing. The outside song is crazy. But if all that's true, Rainwater had a hand in getting them signed to uh, Empire. Same with Don Don, number seven. Mm -hmm. He's done a great job of turning himself up. Uh, Sauce Walker, you know what I'm saying? So what number are we on right now? Two. two. Number two. Okay. Sauce Walker. Sauce Walker, you know what I'm saying? His whole conglomerate. I mean, I even seen a full of artists that he signed that was from Japan over here to the States, kicking it. The guy energy is unmatched. His reach is unmatched. The way he pour into his artists, his empire he built, you can't can't argue with that. And of course, number one, Tess is the gatekeeper. 2022, definitely want to get a flowers to his Carl Crawford. Uh, Texas finally got a, a 15 on uh, a record label that a lot of people can kind of look to. That's mainstream. You know what I'm saying? For sure, we put him number one on the list. And I know everybody looking like, what happened to Say Cheese? What happened right. to Jay Prince? And so what we decided to do this year is go ahead and put them in the Gatekeeper Hall of Fame. It's not wow. even fair to keep putting them on the list. Every year. So, so you retire there, them. We retire them. It just what they've done has been unmatched, unprecedented. They've been pioneers. They created a lane that's unmatched. So it's like, hey, it's not even fair to keep throwing the Prince family and Say Cheese into this mix. Let's go ahead and honor them and put them in the Gatekeeper Hall of Fame. So let me ask you. So hold you on, created, hold, hold on, man. So, I got to get that boy okay, a round of applause, man. No, Come so on, you, babe. So you that, created a Hall of Fame. So I just need to know the, the criteria for this Hall of Fame. You have to be on the Gatekeeper list for how many years? 
Well, this is only the third year of the gatekeeper list, but so I think three years and then you can cross over. I mean, you know, for for as far as the people, it's not necessarily a criteria per se. But when when you try to put Say Cheese and Jay Prince on the list, they just such a so far in the league of their own. It's not even close, Man. and so it's just like. Eh. That conversation is kind of dead. What, why even put them on there? Mm-hmm. Man, I, I definitely, man. I just, like I said, he just killed it on the interview. Say cheese. Shout out mm-hmm. Sean Cotton, man. That boy there, he supported Boss Talk, came through, man, did a great interview. Probably one of the best ones we've had uh, definitely all year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, Sean but went off. I, I mean, he went off and he, he basically, uh, he um not show poise too on, on just, just having an all around good attitude and, and just knowing how to move, man, in yeah. the city, man. He talked about different things in the music industry, man, that we wouldn't know if it wasn't for him just explaining some of the things that happened b- behind the scenes, mm-hmm. man. So you, man, hey, man, I love the gatekeeper list, man. Uh, so what about the apparel, man? I'm looking for my T-shirt, man. You say they coming? Uh, I think so, man. I be worried about doing so much other stuff, man. That you know, I might have to get it over to y'all to get it distributed. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One Hundred and One. Yeah, we gonna talk.